This is CBS. A CBS News special report. in space, the first flight of the shuttle. Coming up on just two minutes away from launch. T minus two, two minutes, Mark, and two counting. The liquid hydrogen vent valve has been closed and flight pressurization is underway. T minus one minute, 50 seconds, and counting. Thanks a lot, Chuck. You guys do super work. Chuck Hannon has just said okay, well, smooth sailing, baby, to oh, yeah. astronauts John Young and Bob Crippen. T minus one minute, 35 seconds, and counting. T minus one minute, 30 seconds, Mark. T minus one minute, 20 seconds, and counting. We can see the purges of the main engines. Uh, as we prepare for ignition. T minus one minute, 10 seconds, and, and counting. Liquid hydrogen tank is at flight pressure. Coming up on T minus one minute. T minus one minute, mark, and counting. The firing system for the sound suppression water will be armed in just a couple seconds from now. It has been armed. T minus 45 seconds and counting. T minus 40 seconds and counting. The development flight instrumentation recorders are on. T minus 35 seconds. We're just a few seconds away from switching to the redundant send sequencer. T minus 27 seconds. We have gone for redundant set sequencer start. T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 15, 14, 13, T minus 10, 9, 9 8, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 4. We've gone for main engine start. We have main engine start. America's first space shuttle. And the shuttle has cleared the tower. Houston, you're going throttle up. Roger, go throttle up. Roger, Columbia on the nice ride. You're lofting a little bit, so you'll probably be slightly high at staging. Columbia, you're in negative seats. The says uh, that uh, Columbia, the altitude is too high for ejection seat use. Columbia, you're go for SRB step. Two minutes, four seconds, standing by for SRB step confirmation. Roger on the step, Columbia. Mark, uh, 
at 2 minutes 20 seconds. Confirm solid rocket booster set. Mark uh, 2 minutes 30 seconds. On, gui on board guidance is converging its program. Columbia is now steering for its precise window in space for main engine cutoff. Mark 2 minutes 40 seconds. Columbia now 39 nautical miles in altitude, uh, 42 nautical miles downrange. Mark uh, 2 minutes uh, 50 seconds. Columbia. Columbia, you're looking a little hot. All your calls will be a little early. Okay. Columbia now has two engine rotors. Yeah, that looks good here. Roger. Three minutes. Young and Crip and Rayleigh moving out now. Velocity now reading uh, 6,200 feet per second. Mark uh, three minutes, 15 seconds. Columbia now 51 nautical miles in altitude, 66 nautical miles down range. Velocity now reading 6,500 feet per second. Uh, 3 minutes 30 seconds, Columbia now 55 nautical miles in altitude, 78 nautical miles downrange. Mark uh, 3 minutes 40 seconds, uh, standing by for a return status check and mission control by Flight Director Neil Hutchinson. Columbia given a green to continue. Three minutes, 55 seconds, standing by for a press D'Amico, which says Columbia should lose one engine. Columbia, stand by, press D'Amico. Columbia continues flying forward, coming up on Mark, the return. press D'Amico. Roger, press D'Amico. Mark, uh, four minutes, eight. Columbia, stand by for negative return. Mark, negative return, and your revamp right. is good. Mark, uh, four minutes, 25, five seconds. Sure is, we can confirm it. Well, that call up. Okay, uh, uh, Tom Brandon Stein, Columbia now committed to space travel. Young and Trippin can no longer turn around and return to the launch site. Columbia, Houston, uh, we're showing both Ohm's PC transducers off scale high. Mark, uh, four minutes, uh, 45 seconds. The uh, flash evaporator is activated on board to keep uh, it going. Roger, setting off scale low here. Roger, stand by. We'll keep an eye on it. Mark, 4 minutes, 56 seconds. Columbia is lofting early in the second stage. Is now being taken out of the trajectory as program. Columbia's main engine slowly being throttled back now. Should be throttled at 65% at 6 seconds before main engine cutoff. Status check in the control center. Columbia, Houston, you're go at 8. Mark, 8 minutes, 4 right, seconds. Panel, looking good. Columbia now 63 nautical miles in altitude, 606 nautical miles downrange. Mark 8 minutes 15 seconds. Columbia now 63 nautical miles in altitude, 650 nautical miles downrange. Standing by now for main engine cutoff. Miko 25, 6, 7, 0, up at 220 feet per second. Roger, Columbia, Miko. Confirm shutdown. Uh, Columbia, the gem of this new ocean now in space, not yet in orbit. Now, now standing by now for external tank separation. Okay, we've had SEP. Roger, and we confirm the SEP, Columbia. Nine minutes, three seconds. Confirm external tank separation. Columbia now performing an evasive maneuver. Moving below and beyond and translating to the north of the external tank. Uh, Young should see it moving away out his window. Seconds, go no go status check and mission control for the first old burn. Give it a go. And the solid rocket Houston, booster ship splashed down by now. One. And for APU should be retrieved down in the Atlantic Ocean for use in another day. The external tank will not be used again. Uh, it'll be destroyed and uh, will land over the Indian Ocean. One burn attitude. 
in small pieces. The two six out left engine, Rome's one will be positive grade, moving Columbia forward and higher on her flight path. What you see orbit. is the, the situation on the ground around the launch pad 39A, where an absolutely again. zero flaw launch was affected. Columbia 67 nautical miles altitude. 1160 nautical miles downrange. The ground absolutely trembled for miles around. A great thunderous liftoff. Four and a half million pounds thrown uh, upward. That was the weight at uh, liftoff. Most of that, of course, in fuel. Roger, Columbia. They're looking good to us. A status check in the control center. Now, moving into OMS burn. Leo Krupp, exactly what does that mean? Well, they have to light off the Ohm's engines for the first time now to increase the velocity to orbital velocity. We have 40 seconds to LOS. Well, configure LOS. You're looking good burning over the hill. We'll see you at Madrid. This burn will put us into 130 by 58 nautical mile elliptical orbit, and later on we'll do another Ohm's 2 burn to circularize that at 130 circular. When is the next danger point? Coming up here very shortly, two minutes after uh, tank separation here, we should be doing this Ohm's 1 burn. Should be doing it right about now. It is underway. And the astronauts right now are doing exactly what, Leo? <clears throat> well, they're, they had to set up for this burn. They had to put some switches in the right position. They had to program the computer, maneuver to the proper attitude so that when this thrust comes on, it will increase their velocity and put them into this uh, 130 by 58 nautical mile orbit. We've had loss of signal with Columbia. Through Bermuda, the next station to acquire will be Madrid. Unfortunately, we lose communications before the burn is complete, so when they get to Madrid, we'll be able to find out if the burn was good. Still receiving data, however, in the control center. Uh, right at the uh, shutdown, they saw the, uh, or right at uh, loss of signal, they saw the shutdown of the uh, homes. Keep in mind that the first orbital engine firing or burn is to get the orbital height, and the second orbital engine firing is to make the orbit circular. And the crew will leave their seats for the first time as the first orbit is completed. That would be about an hour and 15 minutes into the flight. Now we're told, uh, yes, the spacecraft is in orbit. Yeah, the burn was successful. So the first burn is successful. The orbital engine firing uh, burn into orbital height successful. Absolutely flawless launch into orbit. I can say that probably Bob and Kripper are so excited now they just can't hardly stand it. They even made the comment during launch that the view was great out those windows. As the spacecraft uh, reaches into orbit and uh, prepares for uh, to make its first uh, circular orbit of the Earth, we'll say that our CBS News coverage of the flight, and we can now say flight of spacecraft Columbia, We'll continue after this pause for station identification. This is CBS.